the hot ones with both of them. Nice. Okay. Two seconds. Ah, oh my God. Okay. Oh. After the first nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, oh. were you like, oh, but, is it that bad? Holy oh. shit. Is it that bad, bro? I could easily do the first week feast. I could do that. I, I, it won't be spicy a bit. I'm telling you right now if I did it. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. They're the stars of Deadpool and Wolverine. Perhaps yes, sir. Perhaps most anticipated film. Bringing together these iconic characters and rivals has been years in the making, but the wait is finally over. Deadpool and Wolverine opens in theaters nationwide on July 26th. Ryan, Hugh, welcome to the show. <laughs> Very true. Thank Very you. Very happy to be here. Very. Yeah. What's sad is the film's so locked that it's too late to have it start with for Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan. No, I make it. On it. I make it. Very popular TV show. <laughs> yes. I know that junkets, they can be a little bit of a grind. It must be surreal to be in front of this gauntlet of scorching hot wings. What's your mindset like going into this interview? Thanks for using the word scorching. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah that that's great. Nice. Because I was yeah, a little yeah. nervous and now yes. I'm totally yeah. relaxed. I always wanted to mouth sex a volcano. <laughs> so I'm going to do that today. Just to get my lips right around it. Just let St. Helens release her hot okay let's go let's move it on let's see where this is going my Reynolds a funny guy man um yo wait chat should I buy their hot sauces and do like a challenge bro I could I could right I could buy their, their shit hot ones let's go bro Classic level one thousand seven hundred. Okay. So Wolverine as a character has so much gravitas. I'm curious, at what point did you realize his potential to be like the perfect straight man in a double act comedy? The moment I saw, it's okay. I'm doing all right. Okay. <laughs> um, literally the moment I saw Deadpool one. That's where everything came flashing to me. That's where I saw Deadpool. 48 Hours, Nick Nolte, Eddie Murphy. I saw Midnight Run. I saw The Odd Couple. I saw Planes, Trains, Automobiles. I was like, these two characters have to be together. And I literally announced my retirement three days before. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, curses, curses. Yeah. Um, and anyway, it took us six years to get there, but we got there. We got there. Mm -hmm. We're on to number two. My kids thought I would literally yeah. be crying. And okay, okay, okay. If it freezes one more time, bro, you would never see me again, okay? Protein head. Yeah, for the guns. I can't see. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot there. Which one do they eat the, the, um, I don't even know. So, on a foundational level, what's it like for an actor to get fitted for a superhero costume? Like, how similar or dissimilar is it to going to a tailor and getting fitted for a custom suit? It's a great question. Always the best questions. That's why how you get them right. Yeah, some good questions. Um, it is, um, yeah, don't get there. I could fit the Deadpool costume, bro. Would I look tough in the Deadpool costume? Be honest. Would I look tough? The Australia charade. Well, look tough, bro. The superhero suits are. Like, Chad, just look at that nice comic accurate suit. And this one, the bright red. Like, this is like. Come on, bro. These, these are tough, bro. Character of the movie, of everything. The first time I put on the suit, I don't know if I've told you this one, because I, I did the fitting in New York. Seven and a half, eight out of ten. It looked incredible. It was like great. The first time. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, it, it had a little bit of. It still needed to be snugged up. Make me look okay. <laughs> the second one fitting I did, it was like <gasps> it was like bang, there's Wolverine. And I haven't taken it off for two years. Uh, yeah, it's just it's it's it. Yeah, it's just, a, <laughs> yeah. just an absolute success. But the it's, moment we that it's three days after the Coachella it. down there. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, I do think that. I, I think that the Deadpool suit and this Wolverine suit are the two best comic book movie suits ever made. Did the it really suit, is, bro. It's just, a, I think, genius. They're and, tough. They're you know, tough. Knows how to kind of frame fuck a suit forever. Until it's <laughs> frame, <just perfect. laughs> um, And he really did. Yeah. It's uh, and this this one, yeah, was just it was awesome. Yeah. 
So they're just oh, like having a nice little combo with these spicy ass right sauces. Now. Like that's crazy, bro. And it froze again. Okay. I watched the Anthony Star one and the deep one. That was so fire, bro. I'm gonna be watching you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna let you do it, Hugh. Yeah. I'll dive from across the table. I'm gonna do this, huh? There you mm -hmm. go. Nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh, wow. Gee, you didn't need to do that. You could easily do oh, this. Area. Just saying. Ryan, Ryan, what was the worst accident or hairiest situation you found yourself in as a forklift driver at the Safeway on 25th and Oak in Vancouver? Are you getting that? That kick in the back. Oh, get the kick. Also, the, the specificity there was a little, a little alarming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ryan, it's true. I'm terrified. Your bed for a year. Tell <laughs> me a little bit about the sounds you make when you're making. Um, but yeah, I crushed my ankle a couple of times on those forklifts because they're the ones that you drive, and then you also have the ones that you walk with, but they're motorized. Oh, walking oh. ones are the scary ones. Yeah. Things like when it gets away from you. Up, right? Oh, yeah. And you back it up, and you realize you're standing like right next to an industrial refrigerator, and it just jams you right into it, and you're like, oh, this is how they find me. Yeah. Hugh, which pre-fame job do you remember more fondly and why? Working as a ranger for the National Parks and Wildlife Foundation sure. of Australia. That's or he was a ranger. your time as a uh, birthday clown for hire. Which do you remember more fondly? Oh, my God. Um, I remember source? more fondly the... Birthday party, Coco. I literally, I literally rented a, a clown outfit, and me. You said do that before his act. We went to the birthday parties, and we had no skills, literally no skills. So they robbed people, and that's how they did it. They robbed everyone. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I remember doing. I broke my rule, and I did an eight-year-old party. I was. I always knew that was they're gonna find me out, and he found me out. And this kid yelled to his mom, "Mom, this clown is crap." <laughs> wow. I was like, shut up. Shut up, kid. And one of my things was juggling. I could juggle. So I had eggs. And I was like, I just reached in. I grabbed eggs. I'm like, yeah. Well, what are that? And I just cracked it on my head. And he's like, oh, that's funny. So I just kept pressing. <laughs> and then they just jumped on top of me. And that's it. That was the last time. Sounds like so you got jumped by a bunch wow, of little kids. Not. Okay. So about the last time you would humiliate yourself for an eight-year-old. <laughs> All right. That one looks pretty spicy. Right, this is, uh, um, some in-house product placement. Good eye for that. Called Hot Ones. And may I say that this, out of all of the, um, really is one of the best uh, hot sauces that I think I've ever seen before. <laughs> um, you can order yours, of course, online or at your Forever local retailer. Though. But um, uh, I feel more... I'm actually going to order... Yo, chat, I'm like, actually going to order them, chat. I'm actually oh thinking God. about it. Could, um, and then try all the this sauces. Is, this is the one. Which one? I don't feel safe. <laughs> no, I get it. But I'm here for you. you. I'm here you. for you. Thanks. From a, a movie perspective, I am curious, like... When is a leak also, try yet to try um phase like, rugs candy. I couldn't find it at Walmart. I'll try it again next uh, time, but bro, really hard to, to I really still can't find it, bro. To get through this without some of our biggest surprises. Uh, I'm excited to see this movie, bro. Deadpool Wolverine looks fire, bro. Um, it looks tough. You know, I, I, I'll say, I've never talked about this before, but do you know that maybe you know this? Uh, the original idea with this movie was to shoot a fake movie uh, called Alpha Cop. That was intentionally bad. Like the poster, I even had one of the posters made. It was it was about two guys who are sharing one brain, and it, and together they make the ultimate cop. And the poster says, you know, alpha cop, two uh, two, two cops, one brain, all balls. <laughs> and um, it was meant to be kind of like horrible. And you know, so you would go, you you know, like ten people in America would go to see this movie on opening weekend. And five minutes into the movie, the Marvel logo would flip up, and it would actually be um, Deadpool Wolverine. <sighs> Damn. Uh, and, but the problem with if you manage to get right down to the last minute and it gets blown, you know, it would just it would be heartbreaking. So I don't know. It's, but we've been lucky on this one. Some it would stuff be has unfortunate for the people that really wanted to see Alpha Cop too. You know, you got to think about that. <laughs> That's true. Which may or may not be Cop. only five minutes into yes. our movie. All into balls, bro. All yeah. balls. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I can give an example of that at least. X Men Origins Wolverine, when I think a week before the whole movie was somehow leaked online. In fact, I think it's the only case where oh. someone's been prosecuted and gone to jail for the leak. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait, actually? Yeah, it was rough, rough. <laughs> it was rough, Someone went to jail yeah, for that, bro? Maybe a week before we came out, and I think I just remember. Yo, remember when that one guy leaked that one movie, bro? Or, like, I forgot, he just leaked something? Yeah, 
that's and then he made a whole ass apology. I'm trying to think of what it was. I forgot, but it was big, and he made an apology. What was it, bro? I forgot. I don't know what movie it was. Fat Cat. Didn't they not already have that? Am I tripping? Uh, yeah, Fat Cat, which isn't nearly as good as Hot Ones. Hot Sauce, available at any of your local retailers. Uh, I'll talk too big about it. Is there sauce on it? What the hell? That was a rookie error. I think it was Rudd that said all Rudd up front. So yo, yo, what's good, bro? Yeah, that's a step up. I'm yeah, in the middle already. I'm in. Yeah. I'm starting. Yeah. I'm man enough to well, can you each reveal what you estimate to be the most takes ever requested by a director for a single scene of a movie you're in? I remember on X-Men 1, it wasn't, it wasn't, I was in the scene, but it was Patrick Stewart having to give a long bit of intuition. It, it was a Hell no, I'm sorry, bro. I'm not a Harry Potter fan at all, bro. I remember it. Was the, I hate it was that movie, bro. I hate those movies. It's the it's a hot sauce. I'm not laughing, so I cry because of that. Okay. Uh, All right. I hate that we put oh, violet hot sauce. That on was bad. Man, I'm man. Man. Stop. No, Hugh. Stop. I'm no, I'm not. Me, Chow. Why did you do that? I don't know why I did that. Okay. Onima. Okay. Onima. Okay. Can I buy them? Or let me see. I bro, I, I, I give up, bro. Uh, <laughs> I give up. Not playing around yeah. anymore. We're in the back half. Yeah. Uh, so when you hear about movies taking an inordinate amount of time to make, you know, like Deadpool taking a decade to get off the ground, or Kevin Costner's Horizons taking 30 years, what is actually happening behind the scenes? And then what are the sorts of things that can get these projects over the hump? What are some of the things cheating? <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, if you have test footage, some asshole just leaks it onto the other. Yeah, that was smart. Turns it into a big old fucking glory hole in a product tank. Everybody just taking a whack. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying words now. That just fucked me up. Yeah, that's fucked me up too. Yeah, tears are coming. Tears are good. I mean, real man cry. Yeah, Bro, man. how does... Post Ryan Reynolds, one of the most good-looking guys in the whole world and also the most funniest guys in the world. That has to be like... The, not even aura starter pack. That's just like the master of aura, bro. Like I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's just it's insane, bro. It's literally a crazy. And I'm not even gay either, and I'm saying that, bro. Like that's crazy, bro. Shake it from hot sauce. Is it that bad, bro? There's no way. Shake it from hot sauce, bro. So, as the host of a chicken wing talk show that consists of, you know, just tablecloths, hot sauces, and this black curtain, Ryan, I really love your quote where you say, the great enemy of creativity is too much time and money. Can you unpackage that? Um, well, <laughs> I can safely un unbox Yo, this guy's tweaking, bro. Um, Yo, Hugh Jackman's tweaking. It, uh, Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, hits all the glands. Those I thought he was trying to flex for a second. Um, Doesn't see mine? <laughs> so for him as a pampered starlet, this is important. Important right of passage. Your next role is going to be amazing. Uh, the, I think that the enemy of, of, of quality can very much be uh, too yeah. much time for money. Yeah, and, he's uh, tweaking, bro. It's, it's yo, it's making me want to try it so bad, right? bro. This is fucking wild. There uh, is. I swear there is. Let me check again. Hold up. God, I just put hot ones. Let me put like more money at a problem when you kind of your real problem is that you were focused on spectacle over character. I'm trying to speak really quickly because God damn it. No, I get it. Um, I get it. And uh, yeah, when you focus on spectacle as, as opposed to character, um, the audiences I think are a little inured to. Yeah, there is. Like oh the shit. CGI effects. A hundred dollars, forty-four dollars. After a movie comes out, that they in fact. Set. Uh, oh, I could get one. And remember character. Out Moments target. Chat, let me know if y'all want me to try this for a stream. Let me know if y'all want me to try this, bro. I want to try the most hottest one, though. I'm not no, like, 
I'm not a bitch, bro. Like, actually, like this is the first time in life I don't. Know I'm not a bitch, bro. I'm like that. Okay. I had this before. This shit is weird. It's mid. It's, it's like, yeah, it's good. It's mid. I don't know. But I want to try the most hottest one of the hot ones, bro. I want to try the most hottest one. I would do it on stream. Um, yeah. Where I think I'm sick, bro. And it's summer. Like, who the hell gets sick in summer? Is this guy eating it too, by the way? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> but what I want to do here <laughs> is I want to play a little game. Dom, can we bring out the paddles? Paddles? Yo, what is... What the hell? So over here we have some paddles. You can see that there's a Canadian uh, flag on one I'm side. And there's I'm an right. Australian flag on the other. And what I'll do is I'll hit you with a superlative. You know, like, which country has better food? And then you'll vote with the paddle. And if there's a disagreement... It maybe would be nice to debate it in real time, but I understand that's a lot to throw at you, especially given the circumstances. And then we're gonna bring in some ice cream for you guys too. Oh, that's nice. Here comes some ice cream. Oh, thank you, Victoria. I, I <laughs> might reach my limit. I really. Might. Wait, what is on the other side? Britain and what? This kind of, still again. No, we're close to hot, <laughs> which is available. <clears throat> many unrespected online retailers. <laughs> Yo, he's tripping, bro. <laughs> Which country has Ow. produced better films? How can you still be? Oh, uh, that's a really tough question. I hate to say I'm it. I'm going to say it. Yeah. Here you go. That's the 70s, 80s. We really it. did really well. Muriel's Wedding. Baz Lerman. <laughs> Frank and Moran. Oh, and Mad Lovely. Max. Ten Canoes. Oh, yeah. Rebel. Uh, Adventures of Priscilla. Uh, yeah, how about this? The Castle. Best seafood. Oh, a Canadian. Yeah. Oh. 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 Shush your mouth. 98%, 98% of... Shut your filthy mouth. Yo, they're like, yo, they're tweaking, bro. I'm gonna shoot every scene where I have to cross. Like, this guy, this guy is crying veins out of his head of, like, red face and everything, bro. Holy shit. Why does this guy randomly say, do I like Harry Potter and just left the stream? What the hell? I'm gonna say... Sorry to break your heart, but shit. But very close, because I've been to... Yeah, i good. Paradise, but I've never been to me. Where do you find uh, the better slang? Oh, uh, yeah, Britain. Not gonna lie, Britain. British people got. A little bit stronger than. Wrap your laughing gear around. Wrap your laughing gear around. I was really gonna quit, and now, really, this must. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just dive into it. You don't have to wait for me. Thank you, God. Can I put my mouth with this whole ball in my mouth? <laughs> Yo, yeah. yo, that's funny, that's funny. Look at his face, bro, that's funny. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the last one. This is the last one. I would get that one. I would get that one, then. I'm confused. Is it the sauce on it, or is, like, the breast... Coated in the sauce, so it looks dry, but it actually has the sauce in it. Or am I just yapping and I need to shut the fuck up? of singing the national anthem at a rugby match between Australia and New Zealand, how does that compare to, say, like, uh, this hosting the Tonys <laughs> or yeah. waiting for the opening weekend box office numbers to roll in? Like, does one induce more panic than the others? Yeah, singing the national anthem for the first time, <clears throat> when you don't identify as a singer at the time and realizing you're in front of 90,000 people in a stadium, that will boo you. Your own country people will boo you. I was so scared. And I you was... You were so scared that you said... Sure, why not? Totally. <laughs> I said, sure, I'll do it. And I remember being in the dressing room, which is where the players, like, smells of, like, <laughs> and 
I just was singing the national anthem over and over again. Oh, it's really just like to get through the nerves. And there was an old guy sitting in the corner whose job is to clean it up. And he goes, ah, oh, you're a bit, bit toey over there, are you, mate? Which means you're nervous. You're a bit, ner a bit nervous. I said, well, yeah, you know, there's only 90,000 people. And he goes, oh, forget that. There's like a, like a billion people watching on TV. <laughs> and, uh, that, I have never been more scared in my life. That, that was the most, actually, it helped me. Because I guess that helped, bro. Not get scared, like what? Nothing has been as scary as that. Eating the world's spiciest chicken. Except I have not been as nervous in a while. And that's why I'm just talking. I'm just talking yep. to, to distract myself. Can I have a tissue? Why are you shaking it up? What are you doing? Don't worry, I'll get it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a real friendship. Uh-huh. Except till now. They start beating the shit out of each other, bro. That'd be tough, bro. Imagine like Wolverine versus Deadpool IRL though. Hugh Jackman versus Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that, that would hit, bro. That would actually hit. It's the last one. It's the last one. Bro, the B promo, bro. This one. This is. At the end, I might even know the lyrics to the Australian national anthem. This is dangerous. Wait. Make competitive. A little competitive. Dab will do you. The chicken looks good. I know damn well it's spicy as hell, but it looks good, bro. Just a little tap. Just a little. Just a little in your middle tap. The last tab with the bomb crossover. The skin. The skin's a problem. What? I want to make evidence of the bomb now. Okay. What a way to go. And then you got two questions for us, Sean, right? Yeah, I got one last question. Cheers. Okay. There it is. Remember how it grows? Right. You know? It sort of um, flowers into <laughs> something. There we go. It turned into, the shake has turned into a little bit of a celebratory dance. Oh, oh. With Drew. No, no. You're, remember, it's like a good hour before this that This looks turns downright into joyful. A fucking... I can take That's an optimistic no, man right It's here. a That's war it. crime in a bottle. <laughs> and it becomes oh. worse and worse. So, right? I have a headache. I have a headache. So, <laughs> on the screen, you guys have fostered this rivalry, this antipathy towards uh, one another. But, as we've seen today, uh, we know that the real relationship, it's rooted in love. It's rooted uh, in respect. So, to close things out, I'm curious. After doing this film together, what's one thing that you appreciate about the other more than ever? What's one thing that annoys you about the other? Can I say it's ever? the most, um, uh, uh, un... Yeah, what is it? Let me, let me hear it, bro. But... For somebody who tends to, I tend to overfunction a bit, right? Like I tend to, um, I think anxiety takes me to a place where I sort of overprepare, overfunction, overbook myself, all of those things. Working with anyone who is as conscientious, when we are together outside of our public persona, we take the piss out of each other, most of our conversations are very vulnerable and kind of. Um, That'll be a friendship, man. This has to be the most genuine friendships IRL. But the deep in Anthony Starr, um, Chase Crawford and Anthony Starr is definitely the best, bro. I've seen the hot ones. They're funny. You know, the peak of human evolution and the man, the myth, the legend, Homelander. I mean, nobody competes with that. But these these two are definitely second. Um, It's it's crazy, bro. Sorry. Sorry, Internet. Sorry. Hugh. I know, Internet, you say you've got a ride, but he is not as charming. A little farther than in love, great father, great family, great friend, loves his job, loves his work, and I, I don't have anything apart from making me do this, and he said, if you don't, I'm going to just disparage you and make fun of you yep. and tell all of Australia that you just didn't have the guts and Canada is better, but apart from that, and he said that Australia's going to make a nice little state someday. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I have nothing. There's uh, nothing I just You two like. climbing the hot sauce mountain Come together, on. living to tell the tale, Come and on. now there is nothing left to do but roll out the red carpet for you two. This camera, this camera, this camera, this camera, let the people know what you have going on in your life. Oh, yeah, we have a little film coming out. Fuck me. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and Wolverine. It's coming out. It's, and um, it's, a, it's a movie that is uh, built on the foundation of friendship. It's a story about friendship, but it's also... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. ...built for audience joy and delight that is the only north star that we made this thing for to all the fans out there uh, we gave this everything we even fucking rode the whole one's mountain for you guys <laughs> we love you enjoy w man w bruh 
That is no joke. Could not be happier to have done it. I couldn't be happier. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah.